We support. We don't know what the outcome of this thing in, in Ukraine is going to be, but we support uh, the efforts of, uh, of Russia to protect itself uh, from uh, the uh, going, growing uh, desperate attacks by, by, by white power uh, that we see happening coming out of, uh, of Ukraine. And I know that there's, he, they've created this whole situation uh, where people to see this narrative of this bold and courageous uh, Ukrainians who are standing up uh, to this this powerful Russia, et cetera, et cetera. And, and uh, I know that's been created. I know that's won some sympathy for some people. And there are going to be some courageous and heroic Ukrainian people who will die and who will fight. Uh, but the point is that those courageous who, uh, 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 people in Ukraine, are the, they, they are put in a mission uh, by a, a horribly brutal uh, social system to make sure that white power continues to dominate the world. There were courageous people like to use the Nazis as an example. There were courageous Germans who fought uh, for Nazi Germany. There were courageous slave owners uh, who, who fought to maintain slavery. Kit Carson, who was an Indian killer, I'm told was a very courageous person. To say that you had some courageous people fighting for the wrong thing is not to say very much. It's not anything that's astute at all. What is astute is to recognize what they're fighting for. And if they are fighting on the cause for the cause of the future, or whether they're trying to maintain the past, which is based on colonial slavery and what have you. So we support, we support the African People's Socialist Party stand shoulder to shoulder uh, with Russia. Uh, again, not out of some, some silly sentiment, 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 sentimentality, uh, but because we know that uh, that Russia, the existence of Russia and China, uh, contribute to the destabilization, contribute uh, to the the uneasy equilibrium that we're looking at in terms of the existing social system that crushes the life and destroys the future of African people be even before we are born. So I just think it's really important to say that, and that people uh, should. Uh, uh, should join, Africans should be trying to find a way to join the African People's Socialist Party. Because that's the future. That is the future. And what we have to do is, is to make sure that we uh, uh, have a fix, a focus on our own future. So we see uh, Ukraine, we see Russia, we see China and all those forces. And as Comrade Tafari said, I think earlier on, uh, that China and Russia, they both uh, understand what their interests are and are fighting for their interests. But do Africans understand our interests? The man from Kenya cannot understand our interests. He cannot fight for Africa because there is no Africa yet. There are still how many? 50 some odd Africans, according to his logic. We say there is an Africa in the creation now. And the African People's Socialist Party is creating and consolidating that Africa of a billion and a half. And by 2050, I'm told there'll be two billion of us in the world. And so we cannot, we cannot win. We cannot survive. And Africa will always be there to be plundered until we pull it together in defense of our future as an African people. And that's what this party is about. <laughs>